Hey folks, welcome to .NET Techie. And again, I have taken to one topic forms a validation in Angular 5. So how to validate the forms and uh, how to use the controls in Angular 5 things. And uh, I will show you like uh, what can be done. So this is uh, the kind of uh, supporting video, supporting material for my third operation uh, in Angular 5 video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Let me show you. So how my form is look like and how I have created that particular form. So I have created these forms new, update, delete and all item forms. These are the forms which I have created in order to manage the crowd operation. How it looks, this is my new item form which is coming up into the pop-up and it has the name, code, quantity, per unit price, description, category and it is inserting a particular item into my database in the base API. My so how I have designed this form and how I am performing the validation, that particular code I am going to show you guys. So this is my add new form, this is my update form, so what item you would like to update, you just select over here and these all the details are coming, modify it and, and update it. Okay, this is my delete form, which particular item you would like to delete, because you are able to see the particular ID of the item. Whatever the item you would like to delete, you just delete over from here. And this is again one thing. So the same grid I am going, whatever the grid I am over going over here, I'm showing in the pop-up as well. So this is the grid, this is just showing me all the records with the paging. This grid is having some beautiful stuff as well, like searching, sorting, and paging as well. And so this uh, let me show you how how I have done it. So let's uh, do one thing, minimize it, maximize this particular source and uh, scroll down to this source and this is the add form code which I have selected over here and uh, let me show you the code over here so what's happening around is this is my dialog which I have used from prime and d and it is getting present this is the message for key growth, which is coming for 2 seconds, so 2000 milliseconds. This is my inside form, so I have just created a form group, here is the inside form, on click of the submit, I am calling on insert method, and supplying insert form dot value, so it will take the all control values to here. Okay, so this is form, this is, uh, these are my classes, which has been used in order to show these forms. And this usually you can get in Prime and G and what all the classes and how it can be used. This is my name. Name I said is required. So this is the input type text box where the form control name is name and placeholder is required. If it is uh, like uh, insert form dot controls dot name dot valid and insert form dot controls dot name dot value does not equal to NGE. If it is uh, it's uh, not valid and it's dirty, then we show it is required for me. This is how the validation is done, and this is the part which shows you the particular control over here. So, this is about text box, how text box has been created. This is about how the validation has been done over here. So, again, I will show you NG oh, condition I have applied over here based on the NG condition. It is coming. These are the Mm, very famous uh, for for JPI icon font or some classes which we discussed. Again for same input type code as well we have applied this. Okay, again for the quantity, okay, again for the for unit price, same manner, insert form dot controls dot unit price dot error dot required, then for unit price. Okay, so this is what has been done from the HTML side. And then the HTML side, if you guys are not able to see proper code, you could just copy this particular code or how to get the control from the time and website. And this is the part of the time. Category is a drop down. I have given options name category. What is the list of array you would like to find over here? Form control name is category, which is order. Okay, I'm telling that. If ng for insert form dot controls dot category is not valid and insert form dot control is dirty, then again so the category is required. This is my submit button insert. It's disabled if form is invalid. It's disabled if form is valid. It's enabled. 
<coughs> what is happening in this case? Let me see the proper validation. Okay, I have written some names. Hangouts, say this. I print some quantity over here. I print some size over here. I print some description. This thing which is disabled because of my line of the code, which says until and unless form is not valid, you don't invoke the loop. That's really very nice thing. And the moment I said, okay, my form is valid, don't. This is it. Let me show you how validation is going Okay, I said no, I deleted it. Say the item is required. I have deleted this also. Say the item code is required. I deleted the response to it. Required. I deleted it. This is uh, like beauty and it's happening like <laughs> anything without uh, any source of or any work. So this is beauty. Okay. So this is how the validation has been done. And uh, this is this is the part of the code which I have. This, this is insert form and insert form is 